Hey guys, good morning. Happy Scale It Up Friday. So I just got back from the gym. I did my face and everything like that. And I did weigh again because I did go to the gym at like 5.30 this morning. And I stayed the same. But if you're a new subscriber, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. And if you haven't yet, go ahead and click that subscribe button. And don't forget to click the bell right next to it to get notified of whenever I post new videos. Also, if you want to add me on social media, everything is in the description box down below, guys. So let's get going on the Skillet Up Friday. I, I, I haven't really been losing weight. It's like I've just been kind of like staying around the same but I took a picture showing my outfit for the day and I'm going to post it up on the screen and it's like just because you're not losing weight on the scale that doesn't mean that you're not losing like taking this picture and seeing it I'm like okay I'm obviously losing inches because I looked I look snatched in the waist and I don't look anywhere near the size I used to. So always keep that in mind is like the scale not may not be going down but it's how you feel <laughs> and seeing pictures it, it it just makes you think like okay just seeing pictures it makes you think okay the scale may not be going down but obviously I'm doing something because I do look uh, not as fat, not as bloated, however you want to call it. But yeah, that's why the scale is horrible. <laughs> okay guys, so I have something to show y'all. My Christmas tree is gone. That is right, I am starting to Go through a lot of stuff get rid of a lot of stuff oh so, yeah um, I haven't really talked about it or anything like that but at some point in time this year I am moving <laughs> um, I'm excited about it um, I am gonna be closer to family so I am just really excited about it. So I'm trying to get rid of a lot of my stuff. I'm going to be trying to sell all my furniture um, and then I can just buy new furniture. But yeah, but I'm excited to include y'all on this journey. So I don't really know like a time frame of when I'm doing it. I'm just starting to like go through things and you know just sell what I can for right now okay guys so here is my cross stitch update so as you can see I have been really doing a lot of work on the bottom row so you can see some of the trees and stuff I think these are gonna be rocks right here but uh, it's coming along but yeah so I've just uh, been cross stitching while watching some YouTube if you have not checked out my friend I mean I don't really know if she's my friend but uh, but yeah go check out her channel Chikara transformations she does like reaction videos um, on like Amberlynn Reed uh, uh, life by Jen uh, Amy's life journey she doesn't really do foodie beauty that much but um she also like does like a like eating like them in a day and showing you like if they really did eat a proper diet you know it's that they could be losing weight <laughs> but yeah so I've just been cross stitching and I'm watching some Outlander but yeah so just a little cross stitch update for you guys. Hey guys, this is Jessica here. So today's Scale It Up Friday is going to be a little bit different. I kind of just want to sit and talk to y'all for a minute. I feel like this is something I should be doing more often with you guys just so y'all I guess get to know me a little bit better and things like that. Um, 
So my weight loss has kind of been stagnant for the past two weeks or so. Um, last week I ended up gaining and this week I just stayed the same and like I'm, I'm eating good, right? I'm not, I'm not eating things that I'm not supposed to. Um, I'm working out every day. <laughs> um, my stamina is building up. I am able to do more and more things. Um, so that's, that's good. But like, I just feel like maybe I have had a lot of, um, stress going on in my life. Um, from my mom being upset with me. I know she'll say that she's not upset with me, but I have felt that she was upset with me. And then um, one of my friends, we're not really talking anymore. So that's been a lot of additional stress for me personally because I'm one of those people that I want I want to make everybody happy. I want everyone to be happy. I don't like making people upset. I don't like for people to be upset with me. And that's probably a good reason like why I gained weight. I can't blame it on other people because it's not other people's. It's like it was my issue that I got to to the weight that I did. But, you know, if someone is like, oh, hey, let's go out to eat. And I was like, okay, even though I didn't want to or even though I really wasn't that hungry. Um, I guess you could kind of say I'm a people pleaser in a way. Um, I've always been that way. I just... I don't like for people to be mad or upset with me because I am a Taurus, <laughs> Team Taurus, um, and I am a emotional person, um, but I'm going into this week and I'm going to try to not have any stress. I'm going to try to really realize and understand that I can only make myself happy. I cannot live my life for other people. I cannot always be worried about, oh, is this person mad at me? Is this person mad at me? What did I do to this person? What did I, what have I done to this person? And especially whenever it's like the things are like insignificant. <laughs> And they, they shouldn't even be something for people to be getting upset about. Um, but like I said, I have always been that way ever since I, I have known of myself. I have always felt like I have been a people pleaser and I just want, like, I want everyone in my life to be happy and I don't want them to be upset with me. And I think that's like an issue that I need to work on. And especially with like the past relationships that I've had, you know, I've always been scared to like, to lose that person and to kind of walk on eggshells around them because I'm like, oh, I don't want to say this because I don't want him to get upset. Or I, I don't want to say this because I don't want him to leave me because I say this. Those are things that I know that I need to work on for myself. Um, but like I said, I have a lot of big changes <laughs> coming in my life. Um, so that also adds a lot of stress, just like figuring out how... I'm going to work everything out and how I'm going to like do everything. So, um, 
but I definitely want to take y'all on my journey with me. It's going to be an exciting journey, and uh, no matter which way, <laughs> which way it goes, guys. But um, yeah, I just, of course, I could, I could always do better with my diet. I could always do better with my workouts. And I, I do, I really do try. <laughs> but but it's hard to have a body that fights against you all the time, especially with weight loss. Um, it's really, it's difficult for me to lose weight because of my thyroid cancer that I had. Now I don't have a thyroid, so I don't have a metabolism. So it's really more difficult for me to lose weight. So whenever I do lose weight, I'm like, yes, <laughs> we have lost some weight because I. It's it's really really difficult. Anyone who has thyroid issues or has had thyroid cancer, y'all know what I'm talking about. It can be so difficult to lose weight and I'm not a spring chicken anymore. I mean, I know I look really good, but I'm, I'm not young anymore. I mean, I'm not like a hag or anything like that, but it, it is becoming a little bit more difficult and sometimes I, like honestly, sometimes I do get frustrated because it's like I'm eating right, I'm working out, and yes, I know that I'm building muscle. I know that muscle weighs more than fat, um, but it's like I was telling one of my friends. It's like when you go to a doctor's office, they don't care about you building muscle. They just care about that number on the scale. And... um Yeah, but I just, I'm not going to give up. <laughs> I'm going to keep on doing what I have been doing because that is working for me. I can tell that I am losing inches, maybe not pounds, but I am losing inches. But it's, I guess what I'm just trying to say is it's a, it's a struggle for me every day. It's a struggle to eat the right things. It's a struggle to go to the gym. Now, I love going to the gym. I love doing my workouts, don't get me wrong, but there are a lot of times that I really have to push myself and motivate myself to go to the gym. Speaking of the gym, I am going to be having a updated um, weight day routine for you guys coming up hopefully soon. Um, but yeah, so I guess I kind of just wanted to like come on here and talk to you guys and just kind of like tell you a little bit of what's been going on in my life. I have learned from doing social media that sharing every little bit about my life is not the best thing for me to do because a lot of people take that and they use it against me or, you know, they, they try to, they see that I'm happy. So I guess they, they feel like they should knock it down, you know? Um, but I, whenever things are more concrete, I definitely will want to share, you know, what all is going on with me guys. But thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and um, I will see you on the next one. Like I said, hopefully I will have a new weight day video coming up soon and everything like that. So I have been doing like a, t a retro Tuesday or a rewind Tuesday, but I I've been forgetting to do it on Tuesday. So I I'll get back to doing it again soon guys. <laughs> but I hope everyone has a great weekend. Um, I'm really going to 
just try to do better in my weight loss, in my eating, in my working out, drinking water, steps, everything like that, guys. But thank you for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Bye, guys.